All right, we're back for another fantastic maze maze section. I just and I'm gonna ass- normal. And I'm going to assume it was uh, Marvin Gaye's estate that tried to sue. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was his family that tried to sue because Marvin Gaye has been dead. And then no, his dad too. died recently. But another one was um, Huey Lewis uh, sued the guy who made the Ghostbusters theme because it was basically a ripoff of I Want a New Drug. And oh, uh, a new drug. Huey yeah. Drug. Huey Lewis and the news. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna listen to it. Down against the wall. <sighs> Another one when you're done with that one, Garrett, is uh you probably know Come As You Are by Nirvana. Come as you are yeah, I've heard of it. That's a total ripoff of uh a song called Eighties by Killing Joke. That's why it's a ripoff of what song? 80s by Killing Joke. Well, Killing Joke didn't make that be popular. Nirvana did. So yeah, I'm not going to deny that, but it's still a ripoff. Doesn't matter. Stealing art is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> we we we. What did we do? We flagged someone that's uploaded one of our. Videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's but that true. like that channel like just uploads Family Guy stuff, so he stole our Family Guy yeah. podcast. I this just, guy yep. just uploads anything to do with Family Guy, and yeah, yeah I guess our podcast was good the enough. The sad thing is, he has like a lot way more way subscribers. more subscribers than us. <laughs> well, because really he was sad. uploading full episodes of Family Guy at one point, but well, I'm assuming well, they got taken down too. Maybe we should upload oh, full episodes oh, of Family Guy or free. <laughs> Did Huey Lewis and the News win their lawsuit against Ghostbusters? You know, I don't know. I know uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers got sued by someone for uh, Danny California. Oh, really? Let yeah. me look that up. Because honestly, I don't. I can't really hear it, and I want a new drug in Ghostbusters. Uh, I it's, just maybe I haven't listened to Ghostbusters in a long time. It's basically just like the bass line is the same. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that makes. sense. Because okay, head back and go. Because that was why uh, Robin Thicke was who drives because just the B was the same. Yeah, basically it says they settled out of court. This is Huey Lewis and Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. So we don't really know exactly what happened, but it's assumed that Ray Parker Jr. had to pay him something if they settled. Yeah. Um, and Danny California, I never heard of that one. Danny California. You've never heard of Danny California? It's like no, no, no. I mean, like being a ripoff. Oh, I was like, that's like the most popular song of 2000 or whenever it came out. Yeah, it was. It was like it was even on like rock band and then it's in like a lot of like the dance dance games dance dance it's not over here oh goodness it's a dead end. oh huh i never noticed that despite the fact that i know both of those songs uh it's apparently it sounds very similar to mary jane's last dance by tom petty all right mary but, jane's last dance tom but petty, petty said he died too Petty said Although that he, he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna sue the Chili Peppers because he he said I doubt there's any negative intent because a lot of rock and roll so- songs sound alike. Ah, uh, good guy, Tom Petty. Good guy. Yeah. So then, why did he? He didn't. He didn't. Oh, I heard he I did. Think, no. It might have been like maybe his like record company wanted to, or something. Whoever actually owns technically, maybe I don't know. I don't know how music works. One song that I've just heard a lot of covers of, and this is going off topic of sounding the same, but um, Tracy Chapman's Fast Car. Have you guys ever heard of that song? Yeah, I have. I didn't I didn't know a lot of people were covering it, though. 
Well, I, I've only I had only heard covers, oh, yeah. and because I, I just listened to like random playlists on YouTube, and I listened to like the original a while back, yeah. and I was pleasantly surprised that it was better than most covers I'd listened to. It's such a good song. It's sad. Usually the originals are the best with movies and fucking uh, music, but there's I think we've I mean, there's I think more love. so there's for always, movies by there's I, always ex- there, there's always exceptions. I'm saying generally. I don't think with I think more for more so with movies the re- the original is better, but with music personally I yeah. find a lot of remixes or the- now, I find a lot of remixes that are better because there were some songs that I thought the person owned, and then I found out it's like they only made it famous, and it was actually like yeah, performed so originally by someone else. Like yeah. System of a Down did a bunch of covers that are just way better than the originals. And then there's you know, the Johnny, Cash. Johnny Cash, and then also like there's just stuff like um, like give an example though. Well, he did. Some of it down and Johnny Cash. No, but a, a okay, sample so of he a did, song. He did Snowblind, which was a Black Sabbath slash Ozzy Osbourne song. Oh, okay. I don't know that uh, one. He did uh, a cover of some 80 pop song called The Metro. And their version is a million times better. I've never heard. I listen to almost only 80s music and I've never heard of The Metro. Well, I don't so know. That that I, I think so I it couldn't have been show. very good to begin with. Out of defense. But, um... I don't know. I guess it does depend. There are good covers. And I'll then there's admit just, that. There's but... just stuff like... Uh, like, I talked about the, the group Team Teamwork, where they put video game, like, soundtracks to rap songs, and a lot well, of them a are like... Up. That's not a cover. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm not talking I, I guess, about... Yeah. But I like those more than like I like the original of or some Dog of them more than the original of the rap song. Dog is dead. Yeah, I, I get you, but that's that's something different. That's a mashup. This fucking that thing fucking thing. hurts. Yes. So this is like an end game. What enemy. is that? A possessed leisure suit? Uh, if you remember from the beginning of the game, when we had the bazooka, Eric? Yeah. When we fought these things. Oh, yeah. Uh, Can you find the secret? So we're out of defense, and like, I don't have any fucking money, man. So spend it all on nectar. Whose fault is that? Uh, I thought you got something in here. Oh no, go back. Is this locked? Eh, okay, sorry, I wanted to go here. So this is, this will look familiar to you guys. This is like the, the town that we were in. But it's all old and gross, right? Because remember she said, the queen told us that there are people still living in here and that she wants us to get them either to move back or for us to kill them. So let's figure out what happened in this town, eh? I mean, Maybe sure. Everybody. Say, if, that's, if that's the storyline, then we should probably do it. That's, that's what we should do. This ain't no open world sky rims the I didn't realize really Skyrim came around. out like in 2011 you know what I liked like so long ago you know what I liked way more than I liked Skyrim was Oblivion uh, I like Bl- Oblivion more than Skyrim too Oblivion I played for so many hours dude and like I never even finished it I just did like all the guild quests and stuff yeah, um, I finished it because I loved going through the Oblivion portals. Like, yeah. that was that was such a fun thing to do. Just, like, go through them and kill everyone and uh, basically take them down. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I finished the story, and then you get to see fucking Uriel Septim or whatever the fuck his name is turn into a god. Okay, wait. 
Watch him become a gun. I guess none of you guys know Final Fantasy IV. Not really. But this is such a weird cameo. Why this guy here is from FF4? Cecil of Baron. Oh, Cecil. Cecil. I know that name. Have you yeah, heard over my victory over Z Zeromars? Can't say that I have. I turned into a paladin. Doesn't ring a bell. I don't think so. My wife Rosa, she's the girl from the game, or one of the girls from the game. That is a weird cameo. Right? Almost as weird as Chun Li. Was, in was this Fire. game made by Square Enix? Yeah. Or Squaresoft, so, I guess. So this is what was they were the called. only game made by Squaresoft USA. Uh, it's a cult classic. Oh, it is now. Did you know that Kefka was based off of David Bowie? Really? Is he really? Yep. That's really cool. I like Kefka. Oh, uh, because apparently David Bowie was like in a lot Scary. of Square Enix stuff. Um, he was in that movie. Like, he was even like there was a game that David Bowie did with Square Enix. Yeah. I ran out of the I was weird. He was also he was also in that movie Labyrinth and he was wearing such tight pants that the entire movie you could see his fucking package. It's so fucking <laughs> Hey look! Did you see that pop up? No. Look what we got. A bazooka. Oh sweet. Is that a good weapon? Is that the best weapon in the game? It's technically the best weapon in the game, yeah. Does it break the game? Kinda. I don't want to be. I'm gonna use it for the next boss, but uh, other than that, I think we're just gonna. And look at this. Look at this. This is why I was dying. Look at this shit. 19 defense. Oh my god. How how old f fucking p is that armor though? 72, 65. This is why I was dying. I guess I didn't buy armor. No, but I got armor in the last town. Really, just... So now we're beefy as fuck, though. So, hooray for that. Am I right, folks? Am I right, sure. folks? Am I right, folks? Um, anyway, the game that Square Enix developed with David Bowie, like, David Bowie is, uh, like, a hologram or something called uh, Omicron the Nomad Soul. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the what is the game? No, Omicron the Nomad Souls the game. I've never even heard of this. Is it good? An adventure game developed by Quantic Dream. But well, I guess it's owned by Square Enix because after David Bowie died, they uh, basically were like, in honor of David Bowie, everyone can get Omicron for free. Aww. That's cute. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I should get it then. I don't know. Is it? What did the reviews oh, yeah, yeah. say? So, um, that offer ended January 22nd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too late. Counts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, David Bowie. That was, that was like a, a good couple months that they had it for free. So, are the reviews good? Like, what's the score? I don't know. Give me a second. I'm finding out when David Bowie died. Uh, what the fuck? I just went through that wall. And now I can't. Oh, wait. It might have been January 22nd, 2016. Because we died January 20th. 20th. Yeah. 10th. 2016. So it might have just been for like 12 days. Okay. Um. I went through the wall and then I came back out and now I can't go in through that wall again? Was that like a glitch? Oh. The game got a 7 out of 10 on Steam and a 4.2 out of 5. Okay. It's got pretty good reviews. That's pretty good. Well, GameSpot gave it a 5.2 out of 10. I, I can't... I 
I can't say I'm not interested, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah it's, got, it's got average reviews. It was released in 1999 for the Dreamcast. Oh. But you can get it on PC. So I don't know how to get back in there. I, I really fucked it up. But there's a part in this town where you can't take the ch items from a chest or you lose out on a... Uh, alchemy spell. Mm -hmm. You lost out on your alchemy spell already? No, no, no. I haven't. Wait, what? <sighs> no, what the fuck? What'd you do? Mike, what'd you do? Wait, wait, what house has it? Well, what do you... <laughs> we don't have that much time left, so don't worry. If I remember... The 21st correct. night of September? Wake me up when September ends. It must be this building. It must be... No, that one's boxed be... off, Mike. No, this is the store. This is the store. Did I fuck it up? You or, fucked it up. What? No. Oh, you know what? It's it's in the other town. Uh, it's in the other town. I don't know what that means, but sure. So the town that looks like this, the clean one, where we met the where they had the pig race and stuff. Uh, I yeah. didn't go into any of the buildings. And now I remember. I was going to do it in one of the next parts, but then I forgot. So we'll get that alchemy spell some other time. <laughs> Is it a good alchemy spell? Yeah, it's pretty good. Are you going to use it? It's not, not really. Well, then what's the point? I don't know. Just to get it. Yeah, it's really bugging me that I couldn't get back through that wall, but whatever. Let's go fight this boss. I just look like rat to me. Uh, I don't want to fuck with this. I'm just exploring. Cause like, what the hell is this area? I've never been here before. You know, maybe I don't know this game like the back of my hand. You know? Yeah, I think that's been obvious in the the previous episodes. <laughs> I'm gonna this tell you a whole mess. What? A whole what? This hot mess. Oh. That's what you call you and your friends. That's what you tweet to Snooky. You're like, girl, you looked like a hot mess last night. That's what you call you and your friends when you go out to the clubs. You're just like, we're all a bunch of hot messes. <sighs> This. Okay, we gotta go into this. Do you see that attack power? First of all, look at that attack power. 200. Yeah, I see it. Our spear, our lance, 40. Why I'm would they give you a bazooka? So, at this point in the game... I was just like, oh, fuck it. We're done. Let them let him break so you, it. We, we, we started in the last area, which was like a futuristic area, and this was the weapon that you got for like the kind of like introduction to combat and it broke and so the whole thing was Cecil he said that he found it in Prehistoria and fixed it and so this is like the final weapon that you get so right now we have it but we have no way of getting ammo for it mm. so you can use it once and you're, you're done no we have like 200 shells or something this is the hardest boss in the game. King of the Rats. And we're gonna beat him next time. Ah.